The first hurdle on the track to a complete March tournament has been cleared. On Monday, Sumo Chiefs announced that 155 referees, ring attendants, hairdressers and other staff had all tested negative for the virus and are free to attend. Press Chief Shibatayama praised the care they've seemingly taken over their health and said the next step was for all coaches and wrestlers to be tested, hopefully by this Wednesday. I should caution though, there is still no guarantee that wrestlers infected last time will compete. Should, for example, and heaven forbid, anyone at Hakuho stable test positive, Hakuho will be out again. Fingers crossed. In other news, Mitake Umi insists he is okay to fight, despite walking off injured during charging practice with Kakuryu two weeks ago. My right pectoral tightened up a bit, that's all, he stressed after 20 bouts with lower division stablemates today. I couldn't generate power on that side for a while, but I've had it properly treated and there are no problems now. His rivalry is strongest with the three Ozeki all of whom he was tipped to outpace to the rank, and all of whom he beat handsomely in January. But he's apparently unbothered that Teranofuji and Dai Eisho might also overtake him to the rank, saying, I'll take things at my own pace without paying too much attention to what goes on around me. Let them do their thing. They'll keep me on my toes. Speaking of Dai Eisho, he's commented for the first time about his seemingly poor reward for the title win, receiving only Komusubi instead of Sekiwake. Look, even if I were to pay as much attention as you guys do, there'd really be no point, he told reporters. Whatever the rank you have, it means nothing unless you deliver the results. My primary aim was to return to Sanyaku level. I'm happy with having done that, and hope I can post some good scores from here. Reminded that a Komusubi, unlike a Sekiwake, must face all the big guns in a row in week one, he replied, I'm not too bothered. They're all really strong, and I reckon I can get a boost from beating any one of them. I like his attitude. Stablemate Tsurugi Sho, defending second division champ of course, is, it seems, even more optimistic. I'm dreaming big and going for the top division title too, he said of his Division 1 return. I believe you've got to be in it to win every bout. Let's bring the cup home to Oitekaze Stable, two tournaments running. He admits the left knee ACL he tore last March still bothers him, and has vowed to go forward more than before to avoid twisting and turning. And he's also keen to exploit foe's weaknesses more than his own strengths. I may be an inside right man, but if my foe's right elbow is the weak spot, I'll take him inside left, he freely disclosed. I just want my foes not to enjoy facing me. He also has 10 different tachi ai with which to confuse and deter people from charging full pelt, and laughingly added, write that down, because that will really screw with them. And finally, stablemate Tobizaru has been analysing straight losing scores after his shock title bid in September. A lot of my defeats have been down to going for easy wins, soon pulling or toying with my foe, he admitted. It's just who I am, bad habits built up over many years. I know I should be going in real hard, no messing around against the top guys, but I get sidetracked thinking of how I can win with a simple pull if I fool with them. Not good to talk like that, I know so I'll make it a goal of mine to go in hard and proper against whoever. Behind those clownish remarks, we know there's a serious fighter somewhere.